Hey, how y'all doing? This is a quick experiment that I'm gonna try on these golden euonymus. The story behind these is um, I found them about three blocks away from my house. Someone had pulled them out of their yard and just thrown them on the side of the curb. I picked them up, I planted them, and they did okay for a, a year or so. But then last February with the winter storm here in, in Zone 8A in, in Texas, um, I believe, I don't remember exactly, but it was like six or you know five or six days under 32 degrees and that's when all the power went out and everything so these um all of them got winter burn it looked really bad and to be honest i don't really like golden euonymus i don't like how they they'll go you know completely yellow and then they'll i like it a, a little bit more uniform i know that's a lot to ask of a plant so i kind of cut it off and you know, I put them in these, I took them out and I put them in these containers. That way it's a more controlled environment. So what I'm going to do now, this is an experiment since I didn't pay anything for them. And I want to see how nice they end up looking. I'm straight up going to cut them almost to the ground. And I want to see if I could, you know, bring them back more looking like this, hopefully. And if I can, you know, I don't really want these, but I'll, if they die in the process, I'm not really worried about it too much, but at the end of the day, I'm going to try to give them away whenever I, um, you know, I just want to see how much they recover if I cut them off pretty low. It's just spring. Uh, I know it's not optimal time, but these are evergreen, so there's really no optimal time. But, you know, this is when they bud up, so here we go. Some of these stems are pretty thick. This one, I might need, I might need to turn it off for a while, but I'm going to cut it off all. You know, this is going to be an experiment. The way it currently looks, it doesn't, I don't think anyone would buy them because they don't look good. And, you know, people want plants that look nice. And the, with the unevenness and all that, people probably won't buy them. But maybe if they see brand new growth, you know, I could either give them away or, or sell them to someone that's interested in them. But I feel that. You know, it might be a good opportunity for them to grow new, you know, whole new air, whole new leaves, just make it look nicer. I'm not going to be that mean. I guess I'll leave a couple of on, a couple of leaves on there. That way I could, but one thing y'all have to know is whenever you cut leaves like this off of any plant, especially trees, it, it creates like a panic mode and it's going to start throwing leaves as all over the place. And, um. You know, it's gonna because the only way that plants do energy is through their leaves. So once you cut them off, they go into panic mode and and they, you know, they start shooting leaves all over the place. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put new soil on here to um, help it. But look at that. I might cut a little bit more. You know what? I'm a I'm gonna take it all down, all out. I want to see what happens. Go big or go home. Let's see what happens. You know, I'll leave those small ones there, but let's check. The, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this one done, and then I'll show you the end, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys. So this is how it ended up looking. You know, I like to keep them in containers, specifically for an experiment, because it's in a more controlled environment, and um, that's where they're starting off. You know, it's pretty bare I'm gonna add some new soil some fresh soil on top to you know some potting soil that already has nutrients in it to allow it to grow now you know it's not really I'm not really worried about this like I said it's not, I got them for free plus they're all either winter damage or they have three spot and uh, euonymus also get scaled so I'm not worried about it it's for a test and you know hopefully I'll bring you all along my background is in science and I, I do like experimenting. Alright, till next time.